Hey everyone, Susan Leonard Kasmer here. Um, I have so many people that ask me about using dry flowers and real flowers uh, as a, using it in the ice resin. So I want to show you a great technique on how to seal up a real flower. I'm going to use a little bit of tissue and I am using the rune bezel. So check it out. Hey you guys, I wanted to show you a pretty cool technique with real flowers. Um, when I'm doing my work, you can see a couple pieces here where I use flowers in my work. Here, here, here. Um, I love in the spring just going out and getting some flowers. A lot of times I'll, I'll take them and I'll press them and they work really well. Other times I'll just throw them in a bag of silica and um, they'll just dry out as they lay. So that's if you're using dry ones. If you want to use a live one, there is a, a technique that you can use. I, if I coat, the, coat my flower very um, lightly and quickly with a, a paper sealant, this is a water-based, I can actually get a, a live flower to dry and it won't, it, it, uh, it won't, it'll actually stay the same color. Real flowers, real foliage, they do not like to be dipped into ice resin. They're just going to lose their color immediately. So one of the things I would do, I'm going to start with the back, um, and I'm just going to coat with the sealant. Sometimes I'll even just water this down a little bit. Get in here and do a thorough, thorough coating as much as you can, all the way in here to the seal up the the this place right here. Then I'm going to get this flipped over as gently as I can and I'm going to let this side dry up. So I'm just going to finish coating this. It's really kind of wet so things right now it's summertime here so it takes a little while to dry but if you actually even hit this with a heat gun or got a little bit of heat on this or stuck it out if you're in Arizona stick it outside in the dry heat and it's just going to be very quick it'll be just like um it'll just be like a what 30 minute dry so the quicker you can get that dry the more color that this will hold and that's the way to work live flowers so now I want to build a piece this one I already coated this was a yellow flower I already coated this and I want to show you I'm going to fill it into this bezel here so I'm going to show you what I do with my flowers so I'm actually going to work with this rune bezel this is the the shield shape and this is the bezel template for the rune. So it's it's really nice. You can get in there and get, get the right cut. Um, I'm just going to go in onto the foil. I use a lot of foils in my products. Oh, my God. In my projects. Sorry. <laughs> I love, I love, love, love the pop of foils. So I'm going to show you guys how I use it here. This I'm just going to go ahead and cut uh, right on the mark. Sometimes I like keeping the black line on there to um, just to kind of outline the sides of my bezel. So I'll keep it on or cut it off either way. You really want to be careful. My hands are a little sticky from just using the sealant. You don't want to pull the back of this off because the back of it actually is the mirror. This works as a mirror, so you don't want to pull the back off. I'm going to take the little bit of sealant also. So for tacking things down, this sealant, it's water-based, so I can just put a little bit on the bottom, and this is going to dry very, very quickly, and I can lay my foil or my image into the bottom of the bezel, and then I use the back of the paintbrushes. I love these paintbrushes. These paintbrushes are so well-priced. I was so excited that we have the paintbrushes in the line. Um, I feel like they're they're so affordable and they're the natural wood on here, natural bristles. So um, and such a good value too. So I have these use these all the time in all my work in my studio. So now this is also has the paper sealant on there. Um, I cut out a couple other things from the tissue pack that I have, and um, even a paper here. So the way that I start. Like I said, this just takes a couple, like a minute to dry. So I'm just going to put a little bit of resin into the bottom of my bezel. Gorgeous. Look at how beautiful the foil is already starting to look. So I am going to take the tissue and you're going to see this become beautifully transparent. And you're going to see the foil right through this. So let me get this. So you can see how I fill my bezel with resin and then I sink 
I sink all of my paper and my tissue into my in my bezel because this actually really helps it to, to get all the air bubbles out from under. Look at how gorgeously transparent that is becoming. Nice and slow and put it exactly where you want it to be. And then I'm going to put my flower in here. I can also add something else in if I wanted to or add something behind it. And I'm just going to finish filling. My flower will be forever preserved in my resin. Once it settles in, it'll be like either one of these two pieces here. Gorgeous. Click the links below to learn more about the products.